So there's a story mission over here. We're going to do that today. Just head on down there. Oh, wait a second. Where's the TV at? Friends, you've heard the news, seen the pictures. Empire City, reduced to a smoking ruin. Leveled to the ground by the unholy power of one man, Cole McGrath. A name that will forever live in infamy. Now, it is my sad duty to report that this evil man has come to New Marais. To my city? Rest assured, the militia is stronger than ever. My soldiers are already working tirelessly to hunt down Cole McGrath, and we will succeed. If we all work together, wherever he shows his face, I want y'all to rise up and stone him in the streets. It is our God-given duty to cast him out. Any person found aiding this monster is a traitor to the militia, to his own kind, to God Almighty, and he will be punished as such. If you spot this dangerous demon, avoid contact and call the militia's emergency hotline. You may be entitled to a generous cash reward. Our survival depends on you. I just love Cole's face when you're watching TV. Where'd you guys come from? You guys are going to start throwing rocks, are you? Because that happened once before, and it didn't go very well for those people. Just throwing that out there. So this next story mission is a bit of a trek away, but wait a second, I haven't shown off group heal yet, have I? Perfect opportunity right here. You see why that's one of the best powers in the game? Because it totally is. That took like a second. Gonna save a lot of time. So I got a couple powers to unlock. Sticky Grenade and Detonation Blast. To unlock Sticky Grenade, we gotta do Enviro Kills. And Detonation Blast is just by tossing dudes off roofs. But here's the thing. Tossing dudes off roofs is an Enviro Kill. So let's kill two birds with one stone here. All right. Really need to get Sticky Grenade before this mission, or at least before a part of this next mission. So let's just see if we can't find any more dudes on rooftops. Well, the mission's right there. No guys, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Bomb. Let's go take care of that first. Might just run into some people on the way. That was a selfless act. Good work. Oh, Solid Serpent. The man, the movie. Finally, they made a movie about Solid Serpent. Wait a minute. I also need to get some headshots to unlock the Magnum Bolt, so... Oh, no, no. You can't headshot the same guy over and over again, though. At least I think you can. I mean, I did hit this guy twice and didn't count the second time. You guys are up on the roof, right? That's perfect, actually. Cole, Cole, Cole. Thank you. I hear shots, but it's not from these guys. It's from some other people far away. Well, let's just... Oh. Welp. So much for the surprise advantage, or whatever. Easy there, Boyd Crowder. you think the elevated location would be a better spot than it is. Alright, I'm coming down, I guess. As soon as I just take that man out. 
As you can see, I am an expert at headshots. There we go. Oh, what? Nope. Yep, there we go. I got the headshot. Eventually. Alright, Sticky Grenade is great. Detonation Blast is okay, I guess. Well, maybe that's just me, but I prefer the blasts that have a larger radius than this one. It's not like a bad power, but... I like to launch guys with the blast. If I want to blow a dude up, I'm going to use a grenade. But here's the Sticky Grenade. You can actually bounce him off walls by holding the square. And I'm totally going to do that all the time. I'm not going to forget that that's a thing or anything like that. Absolutely not. I don't know why you'd think that was going to happen. Great. Got both those powers. And yeah, we can work on the Magnum Bolt during the mission, I think. So let's just go and get that started. I'm in position above the casino. Let me know when our guy's on the move. Might be a while. He's still doing pretty well at the table. Okay, he's on the move. Stay out of sight. Once I find where they're keeping Wolf, how are we gonna get him out? I've appropriated one of the malicious trucks. Special agent Quo. Isn't stealing cars illegal? Section 150 of the Federal Penal Code stipulates that a law enforcement officer is authorized to commandeer a civilian vehicle in order to catch a suspect, escapee, or prevent a crime. <laughs> Penal Code. <laughs> okay, why does he have a flashlight? I know, for video game reasons, it's so I can see him easier from the roofs, but... Dude, it's bright outside. You do not need a flashlight. That is really unnecessary. This is a familiar mission, right? Music's not as good, though, as it was in the last game. It is a shame that Amon Tobin isn't as involved with the music in this game as he was in the first one, because the first game had a really cool soundtrack. This game soundtrack is significantly less cool. But this is a really easy follow, because the dumbass has a flashlight at, like, 5 in the morning or something. The interrogator's heading into the Tan House on 8th Street. Ooh, getting a vehicle out of that area won't be easy. The militia set up roadblocks all along the canal. Okay. You head in and get Wolf. I'll break up the roadblocks. Okay. Work fast. Oh. You can usually get the drop off these guys so they don't, you know, see you instantly as soon as you get here. But this is a perfect chance to get some more head shocks. Oh. Get some more head shocks. Gonna get there. Gonna get every head shock. Oh, this isn't working very well. I'll be, be right with you guys, just... No, nope. not quite. Nope. I'm a great shot, I promise. Nope. Just sit still. There, I got him. I did it. Oh, for God's sake. Finally. So you can get head shocks on the same guy over and over again. I was mistaken. But now we have Magnum Bolt. First roadblock's clear. I'm headed for the second. Good. I'm almost in the house. Now this is gonna move fast, Cole. Be ready. Don't think I have, yeah. Don't have enough experience for that. Oh well. Can buy that later. Power's not going anywhere.
So this is why I wanted sticky grenades. Oh. This guy... Ugh. That's gonna cost you. This guy is fairly susceptible to grenades. I don't say that word very well, do I? Especially sticky grenades, because you can just stick them to them and... yeah. You don't really have to worry that he might move out of the way of the blast radius, because he is the blast radius. You can just tear through him pretty fast. But he does have a special thing he can do where he can grab you, and you gotta just zap him really fast. And this can kill you, as you see in this alternate take, where I was showing off how it could kill you. Totally didn't just get grabbed and die, he was totally showing that off. Guys don't understand. But this guy isn't too hard, especially if you have sticky grenades. If you don't, he, well, kind of moves around a lot, and occasionally we'll just get out of the way of the grenades before they blow up. But this guy is nothing when you have double grenades. Uh. Hey man, I hate the militia too! Double grenades just tear his ass up. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Gotta hit him once more. Done. Over. Advantage, evil coal. Big ass, filthy mole monsters. For once, I am not the biggest freak in town. Cole, I got Wolf. We're moving for the truck. I'll see you there. You're gonna wanna hurry. I think we tripped the alarm on the way out. Come on, let's go jump in the back. Dr. Wolf, glad you're still in one piece. More or less. Bertrand's interrogation methods can be quite creative. He tortured you? What did you tell them? Hey, we need to go. Plenty of time for talk later. Steal in the position. Death to hang. Bertrand? See you later, old timer. So fortunately, there is a battery or two or three or four or something strapped to the back of this truck. So we have infinite power recharging there. And this is another level that double grenades come in handy for. But so do sticky grenades. Just stick them to trucks. But you gotta be careful with grenade throwing, because you can blow yourself off of your own truck and then you just fail instantly. You leave the truck you're on for even a second, you just immediately fail the mission. So this mission doesn't really have any spots that are really tricky, I think. Well, I don't think, anyways. Like, there's tons of militia guys everywhere, but... For the most part, they don't really do a whole lot to the truck. Even on hard, they've only barely damaged it. Well, I gotta say, it's a really awkward thing to turn the camera and throw grenades if you think about how I have to hold the controller to do that. Uh oh, truck's damaged now. That's not too bad. The section isn't super long. And the militia are not great shots with rockets, apparently. If they were better shots, that'd be a problem. But they're not that good of a shot of the rocket. Okay, Wolf. They just put a lot of effort into making you dead. What is it they don't want you talking about? Bertrand had funded me to make something for him. A device that would solve both our problems. The blast course were just the start. We were not allowed, Dr. Wolf, to play with the other team. Like 
like a small death. Couldn't do a damn thing as the militia carried Quo away, but at least she was alive. Wolf? He was gone. And without him to guide me to more blast cores, I won't be far behind. Hell, at that point, just crawling my way into the storm drain was a trial. That thing from Empire City, I could feel it. It's coming for me. Now I got no way to fight back. Yeah. What the hell happened? Militia got Quo. And Wolf's dead. Dead? Look, man. I don't really feel like talking right now. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs>